Okay, um, the question is, what motor would I choose for my boat? And um, like diesel engines, there is a variation um, uh, of motors that come with certain trade-offs. Um, uh, in uh, uh, the uh, previous video, we, we talked about the horsepower is horsepower thing, so you understand that the electric engines are going to be able to do more work pushing a more aggressive prop. Um, uh, so that we can do um, uh, more work with less horsepower on your boat. Uh, and very generally, what it comes up with, uh, what the, the equations come up with, is uh, 2x. In other words, if you needed um, uh, 40 horsepower um, in a fossil fuel motor, then you probably need um, 20 horsepower in, in these electric motors. Now, it's actually a little bit better than that um, because we have successfully replaced engines um, with even 12 horsepower that had 40 horsepower motors. Um, but the actual pure dynamics suggest that you need 20 horsepower. And I will say that what you need to get the full hull speed that your manufacturer uh, has stated is hull speed is this 20 horsepower number. That will give you the identical uh, uh, amount of power for uh, uh, full speed, hull speed on flat water uh, that, that the comparable 40 horsepower diesel will give you. However, um, it's not clear to me that the manufacturer stated hull speeds really are the hull speed that you want to go. Um, in virtually every case, uh, and I've done little monohulls, big monohulls, little catamarans, big catamarans, little trimarans, big trimarans, there was a stated hull speed that was somewhere in and around the log power area. In other words, I get my best fuel economy right here, and this might be seven knots, but this is the stated hull speed, and that's eight knots. Okay? This is the place you can go the first year you have the boat, if you got the money to dump the fuel in. But this is also really pushing it. This is the spot where if you look at your hull, where the bow weight comes up here, dips down below, and comes up there. That's that spot. This spot right here is the spot where you see very little of that. In other words, that hull is sliding nicely through the water. This is the spot where everybody runs their boat where you're going to get your best fuel economy. And it's my contention that this is really hull speed. Because if we look at the power curve here, this is the first increment that goes up into a log power requirement. And by that, I mean you need to double the horsepower in order to get this next knot. Now, if it's an under horsepowered or marginally horsepowered boat, this is bad fuel economy. If it's an over horsepowered boat, then you still get pretty good fuel economy there, um, uh, but you have a much bigger engine that all the rest of the time you're running too slow. So what we like to shoot at with these hybrid uh, diesel electric systems is this number right here. Now to use my Lagoon 47 for an example, it had uh, twin 
40 horsepower Yanmars. It now has twin 12 horsepower electric motors. Its top speed with twin 40 horsepower Yanmars when the boat was new was eight and a half knots. Its top speed with twin 12 horsepower motors is about 7.9 knots. However, with twin 12 horsepower motors, I can accelerate to 7 knots in two boat lengths. Wow. I can stop from 7 knots to 0 knots in one boat length. So with the twin 40 horsepower Yanmars, this took about 6 boat lengths to get the 7 knots and about 3 boat lengths to stop the boat. So when we look at this, I actually have much better performance even though here I have uh, just a little over a half a knot better speed. Now the other thing that happens is in bad weather with twin 40 horsepower Yanmars, they had 16 inch two blade props. With the 12 horsepower motors, I have 18 inch three blade props. So when bad weather comes along, the 240 horsepower motors for the chop and the heavy seas and everything would lose it down to about six knots. And with the 12 horsepower electric motors and 18 inch three blades, I can still do 6.8 knots. So I have better performance, better acceleration, better stopping, and certainly you can realize what that means around the dock. And I maintain more speed in rough seas, not that you want to, but you can. I end up with much better prop efficiency in continuing seas. But the other thing that happened, and, and for this, I gave up just a, a tenth more. I gave up uh, um, uh, six tenths of a knot. But what happened here is I'm doing it with 12 horsepower times 2, which is 24 horsepower. And in order to do that, we are talking about a total of 18 kilowatts. That 24 horsepower, this is 2 9 kilowatt motors times 2 is 18 kilowatts. And an 18 kilowatt motor needs a 30 horsepower generator to run it. So in fact, my fuel economy is less than the 50% less there. And actually 30 horsepower is um, really more kilowatts than that. I'm saying that it's in and around a 30 horsepower engine that'll make an 18 kilowatt uh, uh, motor. Our new brushless DC motors, we're actually using 30 horsepower to develop 22 kilowatts. And what that means is I have the 18 kilowatts that I need to propel the boat, and I have four kilowatts left over to run an air conditioner at the same time for less horsepower than it took for one motor. And what I gave up for all of this is in fact six tenths of a knot. And actually I'm a sailor for a very long time and I can tell you that all the boats that I have owned, I already gave up that six-tenths of a knot because I've never been able to buy a new boat. So, 
With the used boat, somebody else already beat the daylights out of the motor. And I didn't have that six tenths of a knot anyway because I couldn't afford a fuel economy, number one. And number two, you know, with a motor that already has two or three thousand hours on it, you don't want to run it hard. So I've already given up that six tenths of a knot or even in some cases a whole knot. Um, actually, I had a trawler and I think I gave up two knots um, uh, because of the hours that was already on it. And by going with the hybrid diesel electric system, um, uh, we, we can give this up. Now, the, it's also the case that